Hello, my name is Jesse, and today I'll be showing you how to check the system status of Nagios XI. So first and foremost, click this green icon up here, and this green icon is just an overall health check of your Nagios XI system. It does check itself to make sure it's running optimally, so check on this, especially if this system check is not green. If it turns red at any point, you know you have a problem. So beneath this initial green icon are several other green icons, and they all stand for different things. Monitoring engine is running, performance grapher is running, etc. And you can click on this to get to the system status page, which is located under admin. Click admin and click system status, and that's the, uh, the same page that you can get to by, by normal navigation means. And this just shows you the system status of all of your different components that are running Nagios XI. In general, if anything turns red, here, you have a problem, and you should definitely post in our support forums to try and figure that problem out. Some more advanced statistics can be, uh, can be gathered by going to the home screen and going to process info. So once we're in process info, you'll see monitoring engine process. This is actually the Nagios process being monitored. So first of all, up top, we have a process state, which indicates whether or not it's running. And then we have a process start time, total run time, and a process ID. So good, good to keep in mind. Now we have process settings, so we can actually adjust settings regarding the Nagios process on the fly. So we can turn active service checks, for instance, off if we wanted to, notifications off if we're making some uh, major you know, changes to the system, event handlers off, flap detection, etc. All of these are toggleable in real time through this menu. Next we have the monitoring engine event queue. This graph indicates how your checks are being scheduled over time. In general, you should expect this graph to be pretty linear, pretty straight. If you see a lot of mountains or a lot of valleys, that can definitely indicate a problem and your system might need tuning. Next, we have the performance tab, which goes into even more detail. So we have, first off, the monitoring engine check statistics graph. This graph actually shows you how many active checks are running over a certain period of time. It also shows you how many passive checks are running over a certain period of time. And then we have active service checks and passive service checks as well. So this is good to keep in mind, especially if you're starting to see maybe, uh, maybe over one minute it climbs to 100 and your 15 minute average is still quite low, then maybe you know you have a bunch of checks that, are, that have just been initiated and that could be contributing to that, uh, that mountain that we may have seen in this previous graph. So that could be a problem. The next panel that we have is the monitoring engine performance graph. And this one is also very important. So we have host check latency and service check latency. That's what I'll cover first. And you'll want these to be below one second in a small to medium sized business. And in an enterprise sized environment, you'll want these to be under 10 seconds in general. Of course, it can vary between systems, but in general, I haven't seen a problem with host or service check latencies as long as this is under one second. So I'd say keep it under a second on average and you should be good to go. Next we have host and service check execution time and this can vary depending on the checks that you're actually using on the system. In general a 10 second maximum that that can indicate maybe a timeout happening in some uh, some particular check but the most important metric to keep in mind is the average and as long as the average is low uh, and low in this context means, you know, say below five seconds or so. Can vary between environments again, but in general, below five seconds, you should be good to go. With all those things in mind, hopefully I've given you an idea of how to monitor the health of your Nagios XI system. And if you have any questions about that process, please feel free to check us out at the support forums. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, check out our related content at the YouTube channel below. Thanks.